Are you ready to make fried shrimp? Are you, let's make a confession. Do you get that box shrimp that's in the frozen section and then put it in the oven? Come on, how many of you all do that? Listen, you don't need to do this. Fried shrimp is easy to make and I'm gonna teach you how. Before I do so, today's scripture from the lectionary is from Jeremiah 3.15. God says, I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. You know, even under this new and better covenant with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we still need pastors and shepherds to feed us. I, I say this because a lot of times people, you know, Christians start to think, you know, I know the Bible, I can study it for myself, and I don't need anyone to teach me. I don't need to go to church. Why, what can that man teach me that I don't already know? The truth of the matter is, even under the new covenant, Jeremiah says, I'm going to give you shepherds, that's plural, who will be after my own heart, who's going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Look at what Jesus said to Peter, feed my sheep. Notice the sheep can't be fed by themselves. He's telling a man, feed my sheep. And it is so important that we submit ourselves to a pastor who will feed us the word. And only then are we gonna grow the way we're supposed to because God has gifted those pastors with that gift. In Ephesians chapter four, God says, I'm gonna give you gifts, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. God gives us gifts to help us. He doesn't give us gifts to replace our need to study the Bible for ourselves. He doesn't give us pastors to, to uh, pray and take over all of our prayer life, but those pastors are there to help feed you. So make sure you're plugged into a local church getting fed the word of God. Now we're ready to learn how to make fried shrimp. Now the first thing is try to get some good sized shrimps, not these little mini ones, and then take Old Bay seasoning. Old Bay seasoning makes everything taste like it's seafood. And then I sprinkle a little bit on there. I put it into some flour, no seasoning in the flour, and then I dip it into egg, egg mixture. There's nothing in the egg mixture except the egg. And then please remember, keep the tail on when you, when you devein it if you need to. Mine already came devein, but keep the tail on because you need to use the tail to hold it to bread your shrimp. And so there it is, breaded shrimp. Now we've got the, Skillet being worked on, and I'm gonna put some olive oil. Now, I'll be honest with you, canola oil is also a good oil that you can use. I think my thing's a little bit hot. Canola oil is fine as well, okay? So if you wanna do canola, that's good. I'm not a fan of vegetable oil, because one thing that I've noticed about vegetable oil is after you've fried, it just seems like it sticks in your stomach. Vegetable oil is great for like salads and all that but I don't really like it for frying foods. That includes frying chicken or catfish, whatever. Um, but I was gonna use canola oil, but you know, I got a lot of olive oil. I'm also go ahead and use the good olive oil. Now, it's frying. You wanna get it to a good temperature where it fries it pretty fast. I had to lower it a little bit because I can see it frying and then I'll take a peek at it. In fact, let's see how fast it's frying. Cause we don't, yeah, it's, it's looking good right now. You see that? So. Um, we, we wanted to get it, uh, see it's getting, I had a good thing that I lowered the temperature just a tad so it doesn't fry too quickly. And then we'll be back in just a moment to show you the final outcome. Are you ready to see the fried shrimp, how good it looks? Look at this people, look at this. Is this delicious? You see how good this is? Both sides are evenly cooked. You see how delicious? And you see how simple this was? Let's turn this off. It's not complicated. Why get these frozen shrimps? Doesn't make any sense. Get these frozen shrimp that's already breaded and then put in the oven when this comes out so nice and crispy. Now I am putting a little bit on a paper towel because we wanted to get some of the grease out, but there's not a whole lot of grease in it. By the way, somebody might ask, what kind of breadcrumbs do you use? You can use any breadcrumbs, no, no flavor to it. I use half panko today and half breadcrumbs. Sometimes I don't. So use whatever you like. I like panko because it makes it a little bit light, lighter and crispier, okay? So that's it. You can see the grease is coming off of it now. And then we're gonna go ahead and place it now on our, our meal. And, oh, my wife has the other one in the oven. All right, let's go ahead and start loading it up. You wanna see what we're making? We're gonna have a little peas with our meal. I put a little butter in it and that's it. You, can, you probably need to salt it though. I would recommend doing that. And I think we're ready 
Yep, it's all done. And what we're having is baked potatoes with cheese on it. Isn't that delicious? And um, we'll get some peas on this one too. This is our simple meal that we like to have. Not complicated. Oh, this is a little hot right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the shrimp here. And tell me how good this looks. And, and was that simple? As simple as you can get it, couldn't it? And there it is, we got six of these. And voila, this is our dinner for tonight. I hope you, you learned something and you start to make fried shrimp and quit buying this stuff in the frozen food section and getting them already breaded. God bless.